I'm Amira David with your 7 Action News headlines. A four month long investigation has resulted in the arrests of 13 people accused of attempting to have sexual relations with minors. The Genesee uh, Human Trafficking Oppression Strike Team worked with broadcaster Chris Hansen for the operation. Suspects were arrested in four Michigan communities. The list includes a police officer, former educator, business owners and a church security member. Authorities are now looking for other potential victims to come forward. Governor Whitmer is proposing a new way to cut the cost of getting around Metro Detroit. She wants to temporarily freeze the state's 6% sales tax on gas and diesel fuel. For example, if gas is $4, the savings would be 24 cents on the gallon. The governor plans to veto the legislature's bill to suspend the fuel tax of 27 cents a gallon. She says pausing the sales tax instead would protect road funding. Michigan gas prices are starting to edge down. Meantime, on Saturday, the statewide average was sitting at 4.16 a gallon for regular, and a week ago it was 4.25. Metro Detroit is welcoming its first new department store in over a decade. Von Maurer hosted its grand opening at the village of Rochester Hills on Saturday. The store is located at the corner of Walton and North Adams. Shoppers can experience the store's signature luxury styles and cosmetics. The store includes a shoe department, children's section, men's suit shop, home decor and name brand fashions. And it's the chain's fourth location in Michigan. A quick check on the forecast with meteorologist Mike Taylor and we do have some sunshine on deck, right Mike? Yep, that's right Amira. We just have to get rid of the clouds that we have out there right now. Some leftover showers, maybe it can mix with a little bit of snow as well, but the numbers are expected to stay above the freezing mark with, I'm thinking Lapeer the only exception, but once the clouds are out, the sunshine moves in and we're off to the races. We warm up near 60.